Living with the Glorious Quran, we have started discussion on verse 217 where we saw the Makkan Mushriks questioning incessantly the Messenger of Allah وسلم, concerning the mistake that was committed in Rajab that led to the death of Al Hadrami. Today we are going to continue by searching and studying further the case of the renegade. A renegade Muslim has actually betrayed his community, forsaken his faith to some other creed. How is the Muslim community going to deal with this issue? How are they going to relate with such a person? He is a betrayer. Is he to be executed if convicted? An opinion affirms that since his case is that of a traitor. somebody who has committed a treasonable offense. Some of the scholars said no. A renegade is to be offered a chance for contrition and penitence, lasting from three days, according to some, and even up to a month, according to other scholars. By repudiating his faith, a renegade ceases to be a Muslim. What is the position of uh, his heritage at the time of death? Meaning, if such a person dies and leaves property, heritage, how does Islam want that to be treated? We all know that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, has taught us that a Muslim will not inherit the property of somebody who is not a Muslim and vice versa. Such heritage as left by a renegade, some scholars aver, goes to the Baitul Mal. Another opinion says that whatever he earned when he was a Muslim, before he forsook his religion, would be inherited by Muslims. But whatever he got after he left Islam is for the Bayt al-Mal. Because it's part of the verse that we started translating yesterday. Whoever reneges their works have fallen their works bear no fruit in this life and in the hereafter habitat amalum fi dunya wal akhira if a muslim performs all religious duties salah fasting zakah hajj and so on and then reneges then afterwards reverts to Islam a second time. Will the reward of what he did before he renounced Islam remain in his account of good deeds? His account is empty, some scholars said. He would have nothing. He is a Muslim. He reneges, changes creed, returns to Islam, it's now a fresh 
account. Whatever he did before, he might have gone to Hajj 100 times, for example, if that is possible. Reneges, performs many Umrah, many uh, Ramadans, and now Reneges returns. He has a new page. He has not a single good deed. If, he, if, if such a one has performed Hajj, for example, and goes out of Islam and returns to it, he should perform another Hajj. All that he did before this time, null and void, and there is no reward for that. That is an opinion. Some other scholars said, since the verse says, فَيَمُتْ وَهُوَ kafir." Then he dies in unbelief. Then his returning to Islam resuscitates his past account, such that the reward of his past deeds, Hajj, Zakah, Salah, as soon as he returns, are now intact. Because according to them, and by the authority of the verse they have quoted, he has not died in disbelief. Since he is still living and now goes out and returns, the, the old account will be resuscitated. This is strange, as the Quran warns. But it has already been revealed to thee, as we have read in some other places in the Quran. وَلَقَدْ أُوحِيَ إِلَيْكَ وَإِلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ لَإِنْ أَشْرَكْتَ لَا يَحْبَطَنَّ عَمَلُكَ If you had committed shirk, your works will be null and void, will be fallen. So we have two opinions. Losing the reward completely because of repudiation of faith, and coming back and regaining the rewards after contrition and repentance. The believers who formed the team that took part in that expedition in Rajab concerning which Allah said, قِتَالٌ فِيهِ كَبِيرٌ or قَتْلٌ فِيهِ كَبِيرٌ Fighting in it is a grave offense or killing in it is a grave offense according to the two readings that we have mentioned yesterday during the opening program. So if it is a grave sin, what is the position of those who committed this grave sin in a forbidden month. Yes, Allah has argued in their defense by comparing the works or the iniquities committed by their accusers as being greater, akbar عند Allah, because of what they did in that month. But still, the participants of that expedition were apprehensive that since that was a grave offense, then some sanction will follow. They came to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asking him about what they did, about any reward or punishment for that, since what they have committed has been described by Allah himself as great offense, then what is their situation? In answer to, to that question, and in order to assuage their fears, a revelation came. In Aladina Ermanu, Waladina Herjeru, Wajahadu fi Sabili La, 
اولئك يرجون رحمه الله والله غفور رحيم which is the next verse in our study those who believe and those who suffered exile and fought and strove and struggled in the path of Allah they have hope for the mercy of Allah and Allah is oft forgiving most merciful as if to assuage of course as we have said their fears Allah said such people are hoping for the mercy of Allah which they have got uh, tomorrow inshallah we will be able to explain better this part of uh, the program will stop here tomorrow we shall take it up from this point when they came to the messenger of Allah asking their situation what is their condition since what they have done what they have committed of course with his permission during the month of Rajab has led to the death of a polytheist al-Hadrami and Allah has described what they did as great offense what is our position on messenger of Allah any reward any sanction and this verse 218 of al-Baqarah was revealed to assuage that concern and apprehension as we shall explain tomorrow assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh